this series has developed um, from visiting a, a recent exhibition of, uh, of Gauguin, of the works of Gauguin, uh, which took place at Tate Modern a little while ago. One of the things that excited me was the use of pastels. If there is such a thing as impressionism in glass, I, or post-impression, I think I think uh, that's that's the that's the way I'm enjoying working at the moment, and and very much enjoying looking at the work of painters in general. So uh, quite quite a number of my most recent series have come from have been inspired by the work of other artists, of, of painters in particular. So I'm looking probably more at paintings than I am at other glass, for instance, or even sculpture at the moment. In this instance, I'm using, um, I'm using what, we, what we tend to call shards. Uh, in other words, we blow out, um, we blow out a big bubble of, of a particular colour and let that cool just in the atmosphere and then break that up and by combining ver various colours um, in ver it, you, I achieve the kind of qualities you get with when you overlay tissue paper I depend, I depend on my um, colleagues, my teammates, my employees in some cases, or in each, in each every case, uh, to a large extent, and I enjoy their input. The way it works is that we, we do some work, and then we get together and discuss. I know it's gorgeous. If it goes we, well. We've kind of cracked hard to get this depth of colour into a big piece. Uh, I know that's correct. I, I do think this is quite a painterly approach. There are certain qualities that I wanted to introduce, or. Um, like a, a depth of field or a, a form of perspective. I mean, perspective is always graphically an illusion, uh, and it's it's totally illusory on on my pieces, of course. But the thing that I'm really enjoying about this work, this particular series, this new series, is that the pieces are quite demanding. I mean, they're demanding of the viewer. They they demand to have time spent looking at them. And, um, and the more you look, the more you discover, and the more you're drawn in through the sort of surface colors to, to layers beyond. I know what's coming to me, and I go on calmly from one misfortune to the next, until the end. But I also know that granite will perish, and that my work will not perish. It was, it was creating a mythology uh, about Gauguin, about himself, um, by virtue of his actions and his writings and, and what he had to say. He was, he was pretty much a lone, um, a lone operator. I, I, to go back to what we were talking about earlier, about collaborating, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, I feel very fortunate in having it a great crew who helped me to um, produce this work and uh, and what's exciting is for, for all of us I, I, I hope anyway is seeing um, you know what the fruits of that collaboration are. The faculty of myth is innate in the human race. It seizes with avidity upon any incident surprising or mysterious in the career of those who have at all distinguished themselves from their fellows, and invents a legend to which it then attaches a fanatical belief. It is a protest of romance against the commonplace of life. The incidents of legend become the hero's surest passport to immortality. <laughs>